when I was younger, like 10, I would sit in my room at my dad's house and I would think about what my first apartment would be like, what it would be like to live on my own, what it would be like to have my own peaceful corner of the world. And it sounds so sappy and honestly it makes me so emotional. But when I was going through so much, I thought of this point, this exact moment in my life. It's like I'm letting go of this version of myself that I have, you know, come to be in this space. I cannot believe that I'm about to graduate college and I'm gonna have a college degree, which is something that I always wanted and I always pushed towards. I've gone through the most pivotal years of my life here. At one point in my life, this, what I have right now, is all I ever wanted. I keep thinking to the future and like what the future will bring and you know, where I'll be and you know, what my life will be like. And I just want to be more present in this moment because I know as a little girl, this is all I ever wanted. And this is what I always, I would always bring myself to this space in my mind. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison and I'm a graduate from the University of North Texas. Feels insane. I have my bachelor's degree in merchandising and I'm here to share my whole college experience with you. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, hello. I'm so glad you stumbled across this video. Definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. While we're at it, might as well follow me on Instagram as well. I have it right here and link down below as always. You know, I've really been stepping up the Instagram content lately, so if you've noticed, thank you very much because blood, sweat, and tears. A little background about me and my college experience. I graduated high school early, graduated a semester early, so I was done with high school in December of my senior year, and then starting in January, I actually started college. So whenever I walked the stage at high school graduation, I was already a freshman in college. That's just something I decided to do based on my own personal high school experience. I didn't have the best high school experience just because, you know, the school I went to, the people that were at my high school. I mean, I definitely, you know, made some good quality friendships in high school, but a majority of the experience was very negative for me. It was very detrimental to my mental health. So the second half of my senior year of high school, I actually started college and I went to a local community college called NCTC. It's North Central Texas College, I believe. I took some classes in person, but most of them were online. And honestly, guys, my whole, you know, college experience, I feel like this year and a half that I went to community college was probably the most difficult for me mentally and socially because you don't really make a lot of friends at a community college but that's not really what it's supposed to be about either but i will say i saved the most money by doing that my first year and a half because i got my basics out of the way and i paid significantly less for those courses than i would have at the university of north texas or any college in general I highly recommend getting your basics and core classes out of the way at a local community college if that's something that's available to you. I know it's not, you know, the most exciting thing to do after you graduate because everyone's talking about four-year universities and dorm rooms and all of that, but I'll get into that in a minute. I saved so much money by not doing that and for my own personal well-being, that just seemed to suit me the best. So getting into my experience at the University of North Texas, I transferred from NCTC to North Texas as a sophomore and a half, I believe. So I was halfway through my sophomore year and at that point all I had left was fashion classes and classes that I had to take at the university that weren't offered at NCTC or you know local community college. I started taking all of my fashion merchandising courses at UNT in the spring of my sophomore year and from then on I literally pretty much just did fashion courses and 
business level courses, which I needed for my degree, um, which really I felt worked best for me. I don't know what he's doing. He does this. It's really annoying. Two and a half, three years later, here I am. Um, just graduated with my bachelor's degree in merchandising. If you want any like further information about merchandising or fashion merchandising in particular, I'll have that link down below. I have so much content on my channel about fashion merchandising and my experience and just like what the courses are like, what you can do with a degree. So all of those videos will be linked down below. They're very informative if I have to say so myself. But getting into my actual experience at the University of North Texas, guys, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. I saved a lot of money. Honestly, like I will start talking numbers with you if you want. So let's put it this way. The other universities that I was considering, which I wasn't really like highly considering, but at the time when I was graduating high school, I wanted to see what else was out there. And for me in particular, a semester at the University of North Texas is around 10K. Um, could be more, could be less, depending on textbooks, what materials you need for that semester, but roughly 10K. Um, and if I went to another university, I won't name names, it could be anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40K for a semester, a semester. I am leaving college with student debt, but I'm not leaving college with as much student debt as most are. Another huge factor that played into my experience was I moved into my own apartment. This was definitely more expensive. It was the more expensive route, but something I always wanted was, you know, my own apartment and my own independence since I was a young girl, like I mentioned in the intro of this video. So it definitely added cost onto my overall college experience, but I have worked full time all throughout college as well. So I was able to pay for the majority of my apartment. I, I definitely have increased debt from living in my own apartment because I didn't pay for my rent fully um, with my paychecks every month. I do have a student loan, so I do you know, compensate for that in certain areas, especially during COVID when my hours were cut, which, you know, it happened to a lot of people. Anyway, I'm rambling. I will say if I dormed my first year or first two years, like a lot of people do, it would have already compensated for how much I paid in rent here. So I don't really feel guilty about that. Um, something to consider if you want to have your own apartment, um, maybe consider staying home the first year or two, save your money, get your basics out of the way and like get an apartment, you know? Like there's so many options out there and it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly what everyone else is doing. Getting into UNT in particular, rushing the social scene, the party scene, all of it. So I did rush, well I didn't rush. I was a COB, which is a, basically when a sorority house needs members, they will, um, reach out to girls known as COBs and it's like a continuous bidding like Session I guess you could say I'm not good with the terms because I was not part of the sorority for long But basically they needed another member and someone reached out to me. I toured the um, Sorority house met with some girls and I decided to join the sorority Which I'm graduated at this point. So I don't really care if I give away the sorority, but I did rush Alpha Phi at the University of North Texas and it was a really negative experience for me. I was in the sorority for about a month and not a month. I was in the sorority for about a semester technically. That's the amount that I paid for, but I was only actively going things for about two to three months. And I just found that when I went to things, I didn't really talk to anyone. No one really introduced themselves to me. And when you're a new member, that's kind of on the other members to like make you feel welcome and feel at home. And that was just never something that was like really present in the sorority. I felt like it was very clicky. It was very negative. And since then, a lot has come out about the sorority at the University of North Texas. And it was way after the fact that I left. But just like some racial stuff going on and that kind of thing. So my experience rushing at the University of North Texas was pretty negative, but I know there are some other sororities that 
are so much different and I've heard of people having so much better of experiences in other houses. Don't let my experience um, discourage you from doing that if that is something that you really want to pursue. But for me specifically, it was not necessarily my vibe. Going into the social scene, I'm not really a social person, but I did make a majority of my friends in my fashion merchandising classes, which I did find to be helpful. A lot of people will join a sorority to make friends. I um, met a lot of my friends in my actual classes. So that worked out for me. I did meet a couple people in the sorority, but not really. Shout out to Margaret if you're watching. I think she's the only one I still talk to. I would say my overall experience at the University of North Texas was very positive. I really enjoyed all of my courses and actually merchandising was just ranked number one. Let me find the thing for you and I will share it on the screen. The merchandising program at the University of North Texas was just ranked number one in the United States for the year of 2021. So honestly guys, a merchandising degree from the University of North Texas is looking better and better every day. I will say my courses taught me so much. Like I feel like they were so valuable to me, even the hard ones, the challenging ones, the professors that may have made me cry. Um, just one professor. It was a really great program. Something I really love about the University of North Texas and the merchandising program is pre-COVID, we were able to go on a lot of field trips in Dallas at the Dallas Market Center, and I felt like we were very involved in the industry. Um, I've heard of some people that go to other colleges with a merchandising major, and it's harder to be involved in the actual industry because the college is oftentimes in the middle of nowhere. So what I really like about UNT is that it's so close to Dallas and bigger cities, so you can really be involved in the industry. I would definitely recommend the University of North Texas to anyone and everyone. It was such a positive experience for me. I really enjoyed my two and a half, three years, and I am so sad that I'm gonna be ending this chapter of my life, but I know so many of you have come along the way with me throughout this journey, and I'm so glad that you stumbled across my channel this year or last year or whatever you did. Um, I truly believe that you guys are all here for a reason, and I love creating this little community on the internet with you guys. So. If you're graduating from UNT this year, definitely leave a comment down below. I would love to congratulate you. It's huge. It's so exciting. And I know a lot of people aren't getting the traditional graduation experience, but I would love to congratulate you and make you feel a little special for just a second because I know it's really frustrating, but it's okay. Everything happens for a reason. And at the end of the day, I would rather be healthy and safe and keep all of my family healthy and safe as well. Let me know if there's any further questions you guys have for me about the University of North Texas or my program or anything else like that. I would love to get that answered for you. Also, you can always DM me on Instagram. I have so many of you reach out to me and I love chatting with you. So DM me on Instagram. I'll have my at right here and then my Instagram will be linked down below as always. Subscribe if you like this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.